Okay, we're back. Hello. That was all that was in here, right? Yeah. All right. Probably special treatment room. If I had to wager a guess. Yep. Oh. Well, there's one with the slot open. So... Do you say anything? <gasps> you do. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the type sentences. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Okay. So you can take a look inside the rooms. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Right. Mm hmm. Well, let's try the second room because you unlocked it. I was trying to remember something. And I did. You remember how to block? No, I'm slightly, slightly afraid we're going to run into the jackal. Yep. No, it's just a nurse. Might as well have been. I wonder if that's supposed to be Christy. That's all that was in here, really? Seems kind of meh. Map didn't show anything. I was just hoping maybe there's some plot, but lame. Alright. Well. So, next interesting thing, I believe, is S1. Okay. Well, gee, I wonder what goes here. Good job. Health drinks. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah. Her head doesn't look like it should be able to turn that way. Yeah. It's just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Gasps. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? 
During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult of religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' uh, fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I have always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber Hope House, I feel like I've heard that name before. Okay. Nah, it would have been too easy. So there's Ooh, something. What's that? Yeah. Jerky. Right, next interesting thing is probably an S7, possibly, maybe? Question mark space. I think that was supposed to be one of the guy's rooms, according to the uh, documents downstairs. But uh, I guess there's nothing in it. And then S12 was the other interesting room, according to the document. The room of... What's his face? Whatever, she just appeared. Come on. El, El guy. Now. So Leonard? No. What was his name? Oh, bitch be packing. How much does getting shot hurt? <laughs> just, just a flesh wound. Oh, not too bad. It's probably because I got the vest on. This perfume doesn't seem to be doing dick. Mm. And I'm slightly feared to take it off. Uh, there's abortion clinic, no fetus can beat us. How may I help you? Aww. That was a good one. Hello? Claudia? No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. God, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia? <laughs> My name is Heather. Who are you? Leonard. Leonard, yes. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never! When I find her, I'm... Oh, I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I... I'm sorry. But she... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. 
Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? Or or End of the hall on the second floor. You gonna mark it on the map? Nope. Mm. Nope. End of the hall of the second floor is not that hard of a place to find. M6, I take it? Or the day room? Um, probably closer to M6. That all that was in here? Yep. That was just the next plot point. Ah. You can't actually go to where he wants you to go until you've uh talked to him. Heard that. Yeah. <clears throat> so do I have to take the stairs or can I take the elevator? Uh you can try the elevator. Yeah, bitch be packing though. Oh couple bitches. Nope. All right, well, simple enough. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Like it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pass the damn stairs up. Yep. Ah, my ear. What? Ah, uh, okay. My ear itched. <laughs> oh! Hello! You would lead me in the wrong direction, you bitch. Oh, bitch be packing! Yep. And a lot of nurses suddenly came out after having uh, I know, in. right? She missed, though. Heard the bullet. It was more like, yep. Shooting a 9mm, probably. Well, at least you didn't hear it. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, there's actually... A... Well, it's not on the map. It's because that, it, that door wasn't there before. Oh. All right. Well, what the hell? Oh no! What? What? Look at hallway. Mhm. Mm now look at this hallway. Mhm. Mm it's tetanus, nasty AIDS world. No, it isn't. That's what it looks like. No, it looks like it's a concrete bunker of some sort. Actually, that door looked like... Yeah, exactly. Like Dark World. Yeah, yeah, we're in, we're in Nasty World. Not, not quite. After all, if you were in Nasty World... You wouldn't have been able to go back into that other room. Okay. Into that other hallway. Oh, that's what I thought. Well, we're in, like... We're falling down the rabbit hole. That's probably a more accurate, uh... Representation. Well, at least there aren't any monsters in here so far. I'm waiting for you to have jinxed me. Me too. But I've, I don't know. Holy crap. How far is this guy? Can I get a new camera angle, please? Uh, 
right, I guess? I'm assuming I'm going the right way. I hope so, because those doors are all come closing behind you. Um, this picture, this doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one. I must be... What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. That nurse, I know her, Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital. She did get a little weird, though. Yeah, Lisa's from the first game? I want to say she was in the second game, too. She's like one of the reoccurring Dark World characters. Gotcha. She plays like a hooker in um, Shattered Memories. What a thrill. <laughs> what the crap. I don't wanna be a chicken, I don't wanna be a duck, so I shake my butt, 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 butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. He's turning the little thing too, look. Oh yeah. I heard the squeaky as I passed him. Oh, there's a nurse. Hello, nurse. <laughs> Um, oh, hey, door. Oh, what the hell? I don't... What do I do? Go? I'm scared. Do you want me to hold you? A little bit, left or right? Um, I'd say check the map, but that doesn't help. Uh, I mean... Well, you... We're officially in Dark World now. Oh yeah, we still have the map, right? Uh, oh, I forgot that you you keep the Dark World map. So, well, I think this answers it for you. Left. I think you want to go to room S three. Okay. I can't see where doors are. S six didn't have a little flangey thingy. Well, S three is the room you want to go through. This is probably the scariest dark world yet. Hmm. <laughs> there should be something else in this room. That's not okay. Yeah, that's right. Look away, Heather. Look away. <laughs> All right. Next thing you want to check out, I guess, is exam room four. The hell is that? Oh, okay. It's like right across the hall, like right there. Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> uh, Leonard? <laughs> There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling, blood dripping. Uh, it's totally filled with buckets up below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like full out bloodletting. Um. Okay. Next location of interest is the storeroom. That's all I was in here? Well. Oh, I have to do something with it? I, eventually. It's locked. I can't... Oh, can I go through the day room? Yep. Uh, huh. Okay. It's one of those instances where I kind of want to hug the wall. <laughs> Oh god, no. No! What? The gimps are back. No! And it sounds like cockroaches are back too. Alright, well. You want to just leave beef jerky for them? I don't think they care about beef jerky. Is this the right place? That's the elevator. Damn it. No! Open? I'm not quite sure what's whoa, in the storeroom. It, but it is a marked place on the map. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. Hey -ya! Hmm. 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 Eh? Ah! I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! I'm being covered in blood. Oh, this seems bad. Did you see that? Look! Look! I ah. think in the mirror you're bleeding? Yeah. Uh, and, and it looks like something's crawling out of the... Sink? Thing. Sink. I don't think I can do anything. I think you want to go towards the door. Because I think you're hurting yourself. No. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Where do I go now? Um. I think you want to go. To Ele elevator? The, the men and women's locker rooms. To the elevator. Yeah, I think I did take some damage there. Uh, I'm not really sure what the point of that room was, other than maybe just being a trap, but... Like I said, it was marked on the map as just mirror room, so I was just like, okay, well, I guess we want to go there then. Mirrors are always bad in horror situations. You said the men's locker room? I said both locker rooms. Alright. Well, not going in that one. That's the stairs. Uh, what? 
I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. Well, fortunately, you don't. You can't get in there, so. Okay. There's another phone ringing. Probably in this one covered with blood. Um, okay, I was like, did the game freeze? What's going on? Look, Scarlet, a payphone. In a locker. Uh, Mom? Happy birthday to oh, that's creepy as fuck. Are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. <laughs> Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name. Not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. What was a Joker laugh? It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Or Today not is not mistaken. Today is your twenty-fourth birthday, and I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive? But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. I like how that's what she's upset about. <laughs> There's something else in that room. But wow, that was amazingly you, creepy. You need to go back and listen to the audio on that one, man. I'm sure I will. The wife has been uh, enjoying watching the videos. There's something else in here, you said? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, wait, you're in the men's room? Yes. No. Go to the women's. Yeah. Why? Why are they a thing that exists? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Ah! Uh -uh. What the hell is that? Can can you do anything? Something strange is scooped up in the locker and think I'm safe. I shouldn't get too close. There are two things of interest in the woman's uh, room. Are you sure about that, Johnny? Yes. Oh, there's a health drink. A plastic bag. Health drink. Okay. Bag! Hey, tell me your secrets. I'm assuming it's an item. It is an item. Totally ordinary transfer bag. This is from the trash. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Do I have to go bag the blood? Maybe. Yeah. I was trying to read the map. Oh, 
No, no. Ah. Oh. Oh, there. No. All right. Huh. Uh. Am I safe here? Yeah, this is an elevator. <laughs> okay. And then once you've got the blood, uh... Super spooked. Floor three, right? Yeah. And then once you're done with that, go down to floor one. No! I have to go through the day room, right? Yeah, uh, no. The, uh, that other door is a one way. It is locked. It was locked on the other side. Oh my god. Yeah, going through the day room. Okay. How much damage are they doing? Supplies. Right. I don't think they did any damage. Okay. Well, not enough to mean anything. Oh no, not this place again. Damn it. Uh, first room. First room. <sighs> okay. Uh, baggy is an item. Baggy! Why that's thing? Blah. I don't. I don't understand. Take the elevator to floor one? Yeah. I kind of want to know what's in that cage, but then I kind of don't. You know? Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. Okay. Actually, it says you can go down to basement three. Do I want to go down to basement three? I think so. You imagine trying to have to check all these damn doors yourself? Yeah, I know. When I when I first saw the map for this area, I was just I was a little surprised. Like it's insane. He's number seven now. Not that we can do anything with number seven. All right, well, seven and three are the only ones that have bodies. That might be important. Maybe. Something's write. going on in this room. I'm going to write that down. Six and zero. All right, so we got seven and three, six and zero. Probably talk to whatever this is. That's pleasant. Three, two, one, and five. Uh, it's a four. Yeah. It is a four. Oh! I got it. That corresponds to the, yeah. Yeah. Alright, is there a switch or something I gotta hit? Well, maybe you just need to... Oh, well, there's a there's a padlock next to it, so maybe the code is based on those four values. Okay. So... So one was six. six. Oops. Two was... 
seven, right? No. Two was three, then seven, then zero. Uh, what did we say this was? We said six. it was six. Beep, 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 beep. This one is three, seven, and zero, yeah. I thought you said it was seven, three, zero. Oh, six, three, seven, zero. That should be it. You have to like touch the like click somewhere off of it to make it pop open, like on the uh, main body of it or on the lock part of it. Mm -mm. Are you sure it wasn't six seven three zero? Are you sure that's a zero? Yep, that's a zero. Maybe it was six seven three. I don't think so. I think it is. Yeah, because it's diagonal. Yeah, it is. Okay. My bad. No, I don't want to. Heather. There we go. Yep, there you go. Oops. Um, no idea what that does. We got a thing. A cremated key. Nothing in here but a what? Stray ashes. Oh, okay. Alright, now you can go to the first floor. Is that my ticket out of here? It's gonna be an item, isn't it? Uh, I found some sort of crematorium underground. It's very black, but still usable. Okay. I'm in the elevator again, aren't I? Yep. Right. You said floor one? Yep. Should be right here. Alright, where so, to, Dr. Jones? So, the exam room, examination room has some stuff in it that you want. Alright. I'm headed the right way, right? Which one? Oh, there's only one examination. Oh. I can't. I can't reach it. Can you go the other way? Long way around. Do I have to go through the doctor's lounge? Nope. They just decide to put it as inconveniently located as possible. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Nice, uh, jukin. Ooh, an ample. Full of dirty syringes. Ew. There's a memo. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. Oh, there was more. Was not expecting more. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. What the hell is room 312? All of these number, all of these rooms start with, like, letters. I mean, I guess they'll see S12, but I don't know why they call it 3, 312. Well, we can't even get to that. 
Right, but that was a uh, that was a uh, Leonard's room. Le Le that was Leonard's room in the other side. Right. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this time. Okay. I hate Dark World. <laughs> we're almost done with it. Uh, okay. Now we're not. We gotta go through it like another couple more times at least. Well, I'm saying we're almost done with with the Dark World here. In the hospital. The hospital's always the worst. You have nurses everywhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well. Till next time, folks. Later.